What's going on today guys and welcome to Eddie Studios. For those who haven't been here before, I do weekly videos with tips and tricks to help you be a better videographer. And part of being a better videographer and creator is being able to edit your videos. And what I've been doing is a playlist on how to edit using a mobile device. And we're doing that with PowerDirector because it is one of the most powerful video editors that you can possibly get on a mobile device. Now in my last video I did mention that I was gonna do a video with five tips on how to do different things on PowerDirector that aren't quite obvious. But by the recommendation of one of my loyal subscribers, I am going to split up those tips into specific videos on each tip. So thanks for that recommendation in the comments on my last video. In the next couple weeks, I'm gonna to try to crank all five of these out. And starting off, we're gonna do how to fade from black into your video and then how to fade to black at the end of your video in PowerDirector because that is not an obvious tool that's in there. So let's get right into that and make this quick. So we're in PowerDirector and if you need to know how to get this clip into PowerDirector, you should watch one of the prior videos first. Our first option of fading from black into our scene is to hit our layer button to the left hand side, third from the top, select photo, and then we're going to select our color board and take a black color board and place it in our lower layer. We're gonna drag that black color board to the beginning here. We're gonna make it the right size. So we're making it the full size of the screen. And then we rem I remember that this is about where I wanted it to be showing. So I'm gonna make that color board to that length. And then I'm going to select the edit tool on the bottom left. I'm gonna hit this button that's fade. So this is our first option. And if we're trying to get it to fade into this, what we really want to hit here is fade out because we're making the color board fade out, which in turn is fading from the black color board into the video. So let's play it real quick. So it works. It faded in, but it faded in pretty quick. So that's your first option. It works if you just want a quick fade in. That's how you do it. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do it how we want to do it, which is we're going to fade it in nice and slow. I'm going to make my color board a little bit longer and then we're going to go to opacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where I want to start doing my long fade. That's going to be here. So I'm going to hit the diamond on the right hand side, which is how we make a keyframe. I'm just going to go to here, which is where I'm going to want it to be completely faded into the scene already. And I'm going to take the slider. And if I start to move that slider, it's going to add another keyframe. So we're going to just slide it all the way to zero. And as you can see down there, it added a second keyframe. So let's go out here and let's play it through. So this is my nice soft fade in. If you have a video where you don't have anything at the beginning of it that can be edited out, then you're going to have to put something on your first layer of your timeline to scoot your video away from the beginning to where you want it fading in to the beginning of your clip, if that makes sense. So say this clip started where we're at right now, which is where I want it to go. We're going to go to our second from the top button on the left, which is the stuff, the button that puts things on the first layer of your timeline. I'm going to select photo and I'm going to snag a color board again. So color board, it's going to put it at the end, but we're going to move it to the beginning and then we're going to make it smaller. So we're going to make it about to where our first key is on our keyframe. So it worked out pretty good. All right. So there's your solutions for the beginning. The end's a little simpler because you'll never have to add that little one there. If you have a specific type of clip, Let's add our color board in. Same thing, we're adding the black color board. And you can do the same two ways. We're gonna make it as big as the image. You can do your fade and you do the opposite. So you go fade in. And what that does is it fades into the black color board fading out of the image above. Now it's, it's quick, so it happens real fast. So then you have your other option. We're gonna get rid of that fade in. You have your other option of messing with your opacity. So set your first keyframe of your opacity where you want it to be fully black. So 100% here, then we're going to go back to the beginning or wherever I want to start the fade. We could go here and I'll move my slider to zero. That starts the fade from the image above to the black color board. 
to a nice slow fade. All right, so I hope you guys got some use out of that and you learned how to fade to black and fade from black in a couple of different easy ways. But I did want to rethink that subscriber. Really appreciate you. Hope you're still enjoying these videos. And if any of y'all enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see the next five videos and more to come, subscribe to the channel and we'll keep moving with this. Up top here's going to be a playlist of my Osmo Pocket 2 stuff because I'm going to do a video of how you can use the Osmo Pocket 2, send the videos to your phone, and use PowerDirector to edit that stuff. Below it's just what YouTube recommends to you. I'm going to keep cranking these videos out. I'll see you guys in a few days. I'm going to keep grinding here at Eddie Studios. Peace.